last time on Persona 4. I don't blame him. What? No! Yo, yo, yo. This is J underscore and welcome back. No, the, the, the tone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do it again. Let me do it again. Clack. Yo, yo, yo. This is J underscore and welcome back. You know what this? You know what it sounds like? It sounds like that fucking hey, Disney Channel shit. Hey, this is J underscore. They do a little wand thing, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and you're watching Disney Channel. I don't know about it now. So, hey, so so much happened. I had to take a break from the game because I was just rattled. So much happened, all at once. Like you can't, you can't have the battle to save Nanako happen and then in the same video it's like, oh yeah, she's, she's in the hospital. It's okay. She died. Wait, no, she didn't. She's alive. Namatame is Namatame is not the true killer. All in the same video? No, it's too much. But anyway, I believe we're looking for hints as to who the true killer is tomorrow. So, anyways, let's get to it. I turned off my AC, but it's still going, and I know it's gonna come through in the recording. So annoying. Whatever. I don't know why it's still going if it, I turned it off. What does off mean to an AC unit? Let's focus. I'm, I'm focused. Let's just start talking to people, I suppose. What is it? Uh, what are you talking about? You explained about the incident involving Saki and Yamano. Did all that happen just last spring? Wow, it seems so long ago. <laughs> Who's going to remember something from that far back anyway? That's a good point. Man, this fog has got to be some kind of biological weapon. It's a conspiracy. You know who I heard it was? Juness! Yeah, that's right, Juness! The, the country of Juness is staging an all out attack on Inaba! Okay. Stop it with the crack pipe, bro. Yukiko, I hope it's going well. Kanji, any, any updates? Um, Chie, anything? I'm not going to be out here for too long, bro. <clears throat> trying to desperately find somebody to, to give us a brain blast, bro. <clears throat> Even if someone's been killed, everyone just forgets it so easily. But rumors they hear from friends and TV get remembered for a long time. Why is that? It's been a while since the first two incidents. Do you think we'll find anyone who still remembers them? No, I don't. Perhaps you should ask someone else about this. Like who, bro? Oh, that's a mask. I thought that I was. I thought that shit was a gimp suit, a bro over here. I thought he was doing his little sexy, sexy thing. I ain't gonna do this for too long. I'm not gonna do this for too long. I'm not gonna do this for too long. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure, but see anybody suspicious? Yep, 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 Sure, sure. So I think, I think we ended up having lunch. We ended up having lunch. Can I help you? Calling with suspicious, this person. What? Ah, now that you mention it, my friend was saying she saw someone. I think she's just wandering around the shopping district. So why don't you ask her? <sighs> all right, bro. I mean, I was just there, that's all. So my, is it this girl who just told me no? What is it? Hmm, someone told you that I saw a suspicious person? Uh, oh, that, you. You remember Saki Konishi, don't you? You know, she passed away a while, a while ago. I just asked you about that. She told me how, Nama, how that Nama, Namatame person came to her one day and started spouting all this craziness. Something about the TV. I wonder what that was all about. His relation to Saki? Hey, I don't know what you're implying, but you've got it all wrong. Saki was a good girl. It's just that people misunderstood her. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Please. Need, oh, no. Please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need something. Yeah, the time was a buzz. Remember that, don't you? Damn, I never do that on the flip plane. I'm going to run there. 
Yep, sure. Oh, wow, that was so long ago. You are, you should be dead by now. Okay, that's cool, though. Suspicious. Thank you. This is... Alright, bro. That's dumb. I just wanted to be very clear that that is extremely stupid. All right, we're meeting up at the diner. It's a little small, but okay. I'm seriously pooped. This stuff's a lot harder when you don't have a badge to flash. I walked around all day and didn't hear anything good. <sighs> the killer must be pretty good to have pulled this off without being seen by anyone in this small town. The police had an unusually large number of officers in their initial investigation of the first two incidents. To find facts that even they overlooked would be difficult indeed. Mm. Now that over half a year has passed, mm, there on. wasn't a single report of suspicious persons being witnessed to begin with. And the person wasn't suspicious. Miss Yamano had ardent fans, whereas Saki-san didn't. But otherwise, the conditions are the same. You know, every time I tried to ask about the case, everyone ignored me and kept ranting about the damn fog. Yeah, that or the Midnight Channel. I asked around about Teddy, too, but no one's seen him. Gee, I wonder where he could have gone. <sighs> Without any new data to work with, there isn't much I can do. But there must be someone in town who meets all the criteria for this case. The killer must have a connection to both Saki-san and Miss Yamano. Mm. I know who I'm thinking. As well as be in a position well, to observe our actions periodically to some extent. Who well, I've been thinking of for the longest. Finally, it must be someone who could approach Senpai's house without arousing suspicion. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, guys. I need some fresh air before I give it more thought. I'll be outside. Mm, okay. Maybe it's more obvious when you're seeing it happen in third person. The person who seems to be the most likely culprit is... Oh, it's just gonna... <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Hey! <laughs> it's you, Yosuke! Come on. Come on, guys. <laughs> I mean, I feel like we've we've recognized this. A really long time ago. They threw me for a loop of Namatame. They threw me for a loop. But he's always in the right or wrong place. You know, he's always popping up out of nowhere. Why? Like, hey guys, it's crazy that you're here. Like, come on, bro. We see you. Adachi may have been able to keep an eye on your actions. He would have been able to approach your house with ease, and he knows the area well. Thinking about it, you encountered him many times while investigating the case. He learned much about the police's movements from Adachi as well, right? Like, come on, he, cops don't just disclose that information like that. There's no exact reason to doubt him, but something is bothering you. Huh? What about him? Detective Adachi. Hmm. Actually, regarding Detective Adachi. Oh, you gonna tell me something I don't ar already know? I'm not sure how to put it. But there's something that's been bothering me about him for some time now. When that when that music turns on. Yeah? Hmm. Perhaps it's just my imagination, so I shouldn't speak to Ma'am, please. It's... We do not care about you getting a cold. It's cold. I think we've cooled down enough here. Let's go back in. Get like some spicy ramen and keep talking, please. Adachi-san? That can't be. I mean, he said he came to escort Miss Yamano and... Alibi. What? Was he at your inn when the announcer was staying there? You never told us this? See? Just like Yukiko to not say things when it's important to say them. When Miss Yamano was staying at our inn, the media were swarming all over it. And Adachi was there. That's when Adachi-san arrived, saying he'd been assigned to guard her. He told our waitress that fame could be rough. Mm. Did you confirm this with the rest of the police department? Guard her? Right. Never happened, right? He didn't spend the night there? 
Huh. I wonder if he knew Ms. Yamano. I don't know about that, but I heard he did call out to a girl in my class. I found out this afternoon. But I thought, you know, that's just how cops are. So I didn't think it had anything to do with the case. Detective Adachi also questioned Saki-san, the one who found the announcer's body, on numerous occasions. Mm. I heard it was because there was so little information about the case at the time, but it's certainly unusual to question someone with as strong an alibi as hers multiple times. Mm. Then you think he had something else on his mind? Murder, murder. And that something is what connects those two victims to Adachi-san? Murder, murder. Thrown in the world. Of it. <laughs> murder, running into murder. that guy a lot. <laughs> in all sorts of places. Give it a whirl. <laughs> and every time he'd tell us what the police were doing mm -hmm. before saying, Oops, I said too much and clamming up. We just thought he was an idiot. Was that all to throw us off the trail? Mm hmm It would be no problem for him to drop that warning letter into your mailbox either. Not to mention the fact that he can destroy any evidence that might point to him. Mm hmm Is it really a duchy son? Potentially. Most likely. We need to confirm this though. This is still only a tentative theory. You. We should work to confirm tentative. it as soon as possible. It's a tentative theory. Detective Adachi is headed to the hospital to prepare for Namatame's relocation. Which means if it's him, he's probably gonna... We must head there at once. He's probably gonna... Well, would he have a reason to kill him? You feel like you were getting close to the truth. Yeah, man. Okay. Another freebie. <laughs> Appreciate it. Adachi, get your ass over here. Your time's up. Huh? What are you guys doing here? Don't you worry about that. We're asking the questions. Hey, do you know where Dojima-san went? They told me he snuck out of his room again. Don't tell me you put Doge in there. Don't tell me you put Doge in there. I assure you, we've made it clear to him several times that he needs to stay put, but he keeps going off on his own. I don't tell me you put Doge in there, bro. Jeez, with Namatami finally relocated, I was looking forward to going home. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's just us. So, he's been relocated. I've been wondering. You seem to be in a terrible hurry to get him out of this hospital. Yes, indeed. Huh? Oh, well, yeah. I mean, we can't leave him here with Dojima-san and Nanako-chan around. Mm-hmm. Didn't you guys think so, too? Mm-hmm. Hey, what are you doing here, anyway? Nanako-chan's room is in the other wing. Well, he is he, Nanako-chan. Don't you think you should leave before Dojima-san finds you? I him? think... If he catches you, he'll start pestering you again. I think we will stay. Adachi. Where's Namatami? Bruh, why would we tell you that? There's been a lot of noise today for some reason. Dojima-san, what are you doing here? Namatami's already been relocated. I was looking for you so I could tell you that. You did what? So you wouldn't kill him. Who authorized that? There's still more I need to ask him about. G give me a break, Dojima-san. Those first two murders have been bothering me. His motives are shaky and his alibi is rock solid. We closed a lot of loopholes on the basis of his testimony. But that part's still nagging at me. Is this more of your detective's intuition? Mm-hmm. Look, look, look at how he's talking to Doge, man. He never talks like this. He's getting cocky. He's already been relocated. It's no use hassling me about right. it. Right. He's like, hey, hey, I want to get away with this. Stop asking me all these questions. And you kids should really get home, too. Ooh. You're going to get in the way of police business. Listen to that. It's aggressive. It's aggressive. No, Adachi. I think we're going to stay. What you going to do if we don't leave? Huh? Huh? You going you gonna, you gonna to throw us in there? Can't throw us in there. It ain't going to do nothing. Huh, Adachi? You mad? What's gotten into you today? It's odd to right. see you taking work so seriously. It is odd. Adachi? <laughs> Come on. I'm always giving 110 no, when it comes to the job. No, you're not. That's a lie, Adachi. 
You should get back to work too, Dojima-san. Your current assignment? Get better as soon as possible. Mm, oh, oh, how sweet, how sweet. Mmm, ellipsis. What are you all doing here? We came to talk to Adachi. We came to confirm something oh, with Adachi-san. I can't believe you actually just said that. In front of Doge? In front of Doge? Alright, I mean, if y'all sure about this. I, I would kind of leave it to Naoto, because she's like very, she's kind of used to this sort of stuff, but alright. About when Yamano vanished, about Sa- Ooh, right! Wait, 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 wait. Because, wait, which one? No, it was Yamano where he came in and said he was he was told to be her bodyguard so if that's not true and doge is right here we just caught him so i'm going to ask about when yamano vanished the time the announcer went missing uh-huh i can't say for sure offhand it's not like i saw her or anything oh see we caught you in a lie we caught you in a lie. We got somebody who works at the inn, sir. That was months and months ago, too. My memory's oh, kind of hazy, hazy that far back. It's hazy. You've been smoking reefer, huh? You've been smoking short-term memory loss. Oh, no. What? Yukiko. Yukiko, you know that's not true. You know that's not true. Sat Yamano. Yamano was the first lady, right? And then Saki was the one that was uh, that hated Yosuke. I'm right. That should have been it. Yukiko never. You never speak up when Why we need I you. She discovered the announcer's body. Mm hmm But she didn't know much about it, so I only talked with her once or twice. That's also a lie. We we saw you. Was that all you wanted to ask? Well, I hope it helped. Also, why are you giving this to children? Like, giving this information to children? There's still something you need to question Adachi about. We are- we caught him in a lie twice now! What's going on? Warning letter. Uh... No, I think you should know. Well, the game never confirmed if Doge told him about it. Warning letter? The one that was delivered to his house. It's in okay. police custody now, correct? So you should know about it. Uh, I don't really remember. What do you mean you don't remember? Hey, what do you mean you don't remember? Right, right. Thank you, Doge. I gave it to you to take down to the crime lab for processing. You're telling me you forgot. Right, he just also conveniently forgot to process it. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mm. Your accident was right after that. And what with one thing and another? Sort of oh, it, it slipped my mind. Uh, besides, that thing was just a prank, wasn't it? Was it was just a prank. Jeez, what are you asking me all this We for? know the truth, Adachi. Show your true self. For crying out loud, what's this all supposed to be about? Oh, you're getting aggressive. Dojima-san, you really need to get back to your bed. That's why your oh, runes aren't nah, here. Oh, now he, he, he wants to get you to bed, Doge. You see it. You're a police officer. You investigate people. You, you feel this, right? And you all need to go home right now. Do you have any idea what time it is? I don't care what time it is, Adachi. I think I think it's time for justice. I'm going back. I need to get to the station and report. Oh, he's going back. All of a sudden, he has to report in. Those, bro. Just one more thing, please. Why'd you do it, Adachi? Why'd you do it? We know for certain now that the first two murders weren't Namatame's doing. Hmm. Let's see how you respond. Someone else killed them. Mm. Adachi-san, do you have any idea who that might be? Adachi. Huh? Uh, uh. I have no idea what you're talking. You have no idea what you're talking. Shut the fuck up. Because we think it might have been you. Kaji just said it. Kaji just said it. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> We already know Namatami's the one who put them all in. Put them all in? Hello? Hello? What did you just say? And there we have it, folks. Another successful interrogation.
We've done it. Hmm? Put them all in. Right, right. Now remember what Namatame told us. What's this putting them in business? Right, dogs. Come on now, my brother. Do you know something about the method behind their Let's murders? Let's go. It's game time. Kanji, you tackle him. Put him in a full Nelson. I will give him ab shot, ab shot, ab shot. Then Yosuke, I want you to elbow him in the face. Don't tell me that all that talk about TVs and whatnot from before was... Why would he say that if he wasn't serious, Doge? I see. Now, now I finally understand. Yes, your plapitudes are inebriated. <laughs> to tell the truth, Adachi-san, I've been fixated on something you once said. What is it? Before, I didn't know why, only that it sounded a wrong note to me. Hmm. Do you recall when I read Namatame's diary? At the scene of Dojima-san's accident. Hmm. At what the happened? time, I said, even the victims who survived and were never released to the public are written here. I feel like I called this out. And in response, your words were, wow, then that settles it. How, I wonder, would that settle anything? Oh, uh, he didn't know who the other person was. He didn't know who Namatame was. I thought Namatame, he was using Namatame intentionally. He didn't know. At the time, the police had no idea that there had been other attempted murders related to the case. No. You had no reason to say such a thing. This is a bar. After all, there are countless examples of people disappearing for a few days. Mm. Yet when I read the list of names, you raised no objection. Mm. Odd that. Mm, yes, quite. What do you say to that, Detective Adachi? Or should we say murderer? I don't know. Oh, look at him. He's swinging. He's swinging. Kanji, put him in a full Nelson. I said I'm busy. Oh, you're busy, huh? Oh, he's yelling. Show your true face. Oh, he ran away, Doge. Wait, you son of a bitch. He ran away, Doge. Doge is like, come on, come on, Doge. You just go back to bed. <laughs> just go back to bed. <laughs> you go back to bed, Doge. We'll handle it from here. And he he just ran in the TV. He just he just ran right in. He hasn't left this ward yet? I don't think he would, but could he have... You never know. He was cornered. It's highly probable that he escaped there. If he does indeed turn up on the other side, that should prove beyond a doubt that he is the true culprit. Mm. Damn. So I guess we were right. What do we do now? Oh. I think it's too dangerous to go in from here. Okay, well, you didn't really have to do that to me if it was... Okay. We're not 100% positive he used this TV. And on top of that, we don't know where it might lead. Well, I mean, yeah, but, you know, come on. Let's go in from Jeunesse, like always. All right, babe. It'll be fine. So long as we're ready for him, we'll crush that jerk in one strike. We're not ready, though. The extremely suspicious detective Adachi. You've taken another step closer to the truth. Yeah. I was getting a little angry at the game when it did the find the hints and all that stuff, especially since there wasn't actually a right answer. But this portion brought me back. Thank you. Are we gonna see Igor? Yeah, okay. Teddy! Teddy! Teddy, why are you here? Teddy? This, it seems that you've come to the Velvet Room in your dreams again. But something is different this time. You don't see Igor, Margaret, or Marie. Teddy! Teddy is sitting here, not noticing your presence. Where am I? In a pimped out limo. Sensei? Why are you here? I don't know either, Loki. I don't know. I see. How mysterious. Where did you go, Teddy? There are so many things I don't know about. Me too, Teddy. 
But I did realize something. What did you realize? I've been thinking all this time about who I really am. Uh-oh. Tell us. You don't seem happy about it. But I couldn't find the answer. I was no one from the start. Hmm. Humans live in the other world, and shadows live in this world. Okay. From the beginning, that's all there was to it. Okay. I was just a shadow in that world. Mm. We don't care about you being a shadow, bro. Everyone's worried. You're always so kind, Sensei. Shadows can't stay in the human world. They aren't allowed. I walked and walked, but there was nothing all around me. Just when I started thinking that I couldn't go anywhere, I heard the noise of a car. Right, so he was on the same path as this car. And then I was here. Okay. I remember lots of things now. My world is a place shaped by human thoughts. Okay. One day, a shadow living in that world awakened to human emotions. Hmm. But humans and shadows are completely different entities. So he made himself forget that he was oh, a shadow. Wow. The pain of not being human made you want to make yourself forget. He wanted to forget. Mm. He wanted people to like him. Mm. And that's how he came to look You made like this, this form because you felt like it would be approachable. Hmm. We all we all put on we all put on a costume to make people like us. Hmm. <laughs> I really am stupid. Nah man, not nah, Teddy. What the other Teddy said before, in the end, it was all true. No nah, man. No matter how much I search for myself, I have no self. No, bro. There was no me to begin with. You you build who you are. You are you are the only shadow with human emotion, bro. Don't say that. I'm just a shadow that took a different form so humans would like me. But also, can I see your like the original form? That'd be cool. It would have been better if I had never remembered. I'd like but to see I did. it. Well, That's probably disrespectful probably to say. Probably turn back to a regular shadow soon. Cause you remember? Oh yeah, Sensei. What's up, Teddy? One day, when you meet Nana Chan in heaven. Oh my God. Apologize for me. Heaven? What you mean heaven? Tell her, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Tell her. I'm really sorry. Damn. Oh, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. Nanako is alive. Huh? Really? I mean, you doing something would explain why she just suddenly came back to life, but... Nanako. I don't know that for sure. I don't want to lie to him. Wow, that's wonderful. Maybe I should have told him that. I'm so glad. Glad that I could at least hear that. <laughs> My heart feels so much lighter now. I'm starting to feel sleepy. What a strange place. It feels so soothing. It's not like my world. Something just feels so nostalgic about this place. Mm. But I wonder why I met you here. Um. What am I supposed to do now? I don't know, but let's move on together. But I don't know what to look for or how to find it. I don't know how to respond to that. No matter how hard I think, 
There's too many things my little brain can't understand. Same, bro. Same. But I do understand one thing now. I'm glad that I met you, Sensei. It's love, bro. It's always been love. Appreciate you, bro. Nice little Max. Can I see your... Can I see your, uh... I'm um, sure. Why not? <clears throat> Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create Helena, the ultimate form of the Star Archive. Yeah, these are really fast, man. But I have to get going. No, you don't. Please stay. This is your place. What? It doesn't seem like somewhere that. I'd be allowed to stay. If this is my place, then I get to choose who can stay and go, and I say you can stay. Goodbye, Sensei. Don't say goodbye, Teddy. Teddy, no! Now it's Igor's bitch ass. Before you know it, Teddy's gone. And Igor, Margaret, and Marie are sitting there once again. Hmm. It seems the words in your memory weren't the only things you summoned here. This is a room for guests who have an ego that can be nurtured. Hmm. Shadows, mere fragments broken off from the ego, hmm. have no place here. Mere fragments broken off from the ego. Interesting. The water strength has moved a single stone that had stopped. Returning it once again into the flow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I'm not sure I understood that, to be honest. Igor has a meaningful smile on his face. Well, now, it's about time we did Meaningful? Once again. What do you mean, meaningful smile, bro? This vehicle is still on its journey. There is no reason to tarry here bro, for Teddy, long. Teddy was on the A team. What are we gonna do? Margaret? God damn, I never see <laughs> I never see you from the side angle. Man, somebody took a mallet to you. Oh no. Fucking like they could they could take off jets on your skull. Goodness gracious. Poor guy. How did it go? Did you find Teddy? No, and no one's seen him either. Oh, that annoying little furball. Just when we're at a turning point in the case, too. We have no choice. Let's pursue Adachi for now. How are you gonna get out? Okay, they said it doesn't matter. Fair enough. Lord Jesus. Adachi's definitely in here. Are you serious? Which way? Hold on. So he did come to this side. Well, that settles it. There's virtually no doubt remaining that he's the true culprit. I mean, we said that last time, though. Once we capture him, solving the mystery of this world and the rest of the case can't be far behind. Then... Maybe we'll find out where Teddy came from, too. Man, where is that bear anyway? He didn't tell them. Well, I, mean, I guess it kind of sounds crazy, but... I can say but... for sure he's not here. What do you mean he's not here? Then where is he? I thought he said he was a shadow of this world. And I know Adachi is here, but I can't track him down myself. No. No, don't make me. Please. Gee, Ted, why aren't you here when we need you most? I guess we can't really. It's kind of weird to say this. So uh, there's this limousine in my mind with this man with a bad cranium, right? What? This place. What the fuck is going on? <sighs> I see. Is this what happened? No. She was dead at that other scene. I came back. But ah. it really doesn't matter. I'm completely useless. You're not useless, bro. Why do you think you're here? Nana-chan, 
I'm so sorry. I have no reason to be sorry, bro. You're putting all this responsibility on you, bro. Teddy? It is you, Teddy. I heard your voice. You saved her? You said, hang in there. Oh my gosh. See, Teddy? I heard my big bro and everyone else too <laughs> nana chan oh, hold on i'll get the doctor it seems she's asleep again um nana chan told me that she heard my voice I mean, the doctor's not gonna say anything about that. She heard me say, hang in there. She's like, oh, well, that, well, that's good. <laughs> it could be that her frankly miraculous recovery was okay. because everyone's voices reached her. So you're gonna follow it. Okay. Even unconscious, people are capable of hearing others' voices. Oh, fair enough. Fair My enough. Voice. I guess. There's two. That's because you have meaning, bro. Everyone. In any case. There are too many things we don't understand about her condition and what caused it. We're doing our best, but it's difficult when everything about her illness is a total unknown. Unknown? Yeah, it's a trigger word. Well, if anything happens, please send for me. If I'm an unknown being, then the way I can change is unknown too. Ooh, a bar. So all I have to do is make them not unknown. Nana-chan's doing her best. Sensei and the others are probably fighting now, too. I... I'm just a shadow. But Nana-chan cheered up when she heard my voice. Right, bro. You're not just a shadow. You are a friend. You are a confidant. You are a part of the A-team, and we really need you to come back because everybody else is severely underleveled. So what if I'm just a shadow? There must be something I can right, do. Right, right. Agreed. I can't just give up thinking about mm, things. Mm, 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 mm. That's why I came back here. Right, Nana-chan? Teddy Strongwill then allowed him to accept and overcome his weakness as awakened his heart's true power. What the f- <laughs> Alright. It's a children's plushy toy with the butt plug in it. Or dildo. Alright. That's uh... Okay. Right. I need to get back to the others. Yes, sir. Hang in there, Nana-chan. I'll be back soon. Damn it! We came so far to run smack into a dead end. I know he's in there, too. What's wrong with me? My powers are completely useless. I wouldn't say that. No, come on now. Teddy? You little... Where the hell were you? It's a long story, bro. Uh, I'm sorry. You idiot! Bad bear! Bad! You're so late! Who do you think you are? See. <laughs> Rise knows how to express herself. I figured out a lot of things stuff about me and that world I wanted to tell you all mm. you listen to Teddy's confession since he finally understands who he really is that he was only a shadow and that though he was at his wits end he was able to come back to your world a shadow you mean you're one of those things we've been fighting Crazy. Yup. Just like the ones you all know about. Shadows are suppressed human thoughts given form. Mm. 
Everyone has them inside. I did everything I could until now to try and make my world peaceful. But instead, the weird fog started seeping out into this world, too. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. If I really was special, then maybe... It's no big deal. I mean, we weren't expecting much from you in the first place. And about you being a shadow, we pretty much figured you were something like that anyway. I mean, I guess. Huh? It makes more sense, but... Ooh, what are you saying? Here I am pouring my heart out to you and you say you thought I was something like that anyways? No normal person would think such a pretty bear could really be a shadow! It's true that you may have been born that way. But you now possess the power of persona. A shadow is suppressed power. Once controlled by the ego, it becomes a persona. Doesn't it follow then that you must have developed an ego? Whether the ego masters her. its shadow or the shadow awakens to its ego. Look at that. She giving you logic right now, boy. She giving you logic, facts, deduction. The only difference I see is the order in which the process occurred. Mm, mm, oh, mm, mm, mm. Teddy's practically human then. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I'm the same as humans? Yes. Now do another transformation because the one that you transformed into is kind of... I don't know about it. You keep trying it. to figure out who you are. Just like all of us here. All right. Now that the band's back together, let's take it from the top. Starting tomorrow. Since you'll start fresh again tomorrow, each of you decide to go home from today for today. I'll give it a try, but... If Risei-chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried-up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. Hmm. I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely <laughs> covering up his scent. A dachi baby? Come on now. Teddy, you can't do it either? What if y'all, like... Combine your strength or something. Is that possible? When you look at me with those eyes. I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no right. matter what. Right. Tap in. Tap into a different level of this strength. This is my time I, to da, 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 da. Hmm. Uh, Oh, I'm getting something. Thank you. Please. Last time you exploded, though. Teddy. Duh. Don't distract him, man. Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Follow him. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. Hmm. When we first... where was that? At the, um, the shopping district oh, area. You mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces oh, on the okay, posters okay, were okay. cut out? Right. That did happen first. Yep! There's someone there! Long time ago. Teddy, you really are amazing! They really want us to make judgment. Um, personas. Damn bitch. Mmm, here we go. Here he is. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Mm. Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? <laughs> it was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? 
I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? Hmm. I don't know if we've ever seen her. What they say on the news isn't true, is it? All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye, but it turns out you're another worthless bitch. Mm. Oh my. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Mm. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. Oh, you crazy, bro. All this because a woman that <laughs> you had you no chance do? with had an affair? Oh, my ah! goodness. She, she fell in. So people can go completely inside. Good thing for me, no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. Hmm. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Wow, bro. She didn't even know who you were. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. You did all this. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Mm. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. Mm. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff. Her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. What, she said, please stop bothering me? Politely? What's this about anyways? Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. What's that matter? You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatami. Ooh. Huh. So I'm not good enough for oh you. Oh my god, bro. You killed these two women because they didn't want you. First of all, she's a minor, Adachi. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. Oh my god, bro. No! These high school girls today. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. Oh my god. Bro. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got the sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. Mm. So you knew, you knew it, le it led to death. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know? Lighter. Mm. You son of a bitch! You dirty, bro. You are slimy. Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. Liar. I mean, I'm sure they hit on Namatame, not the other way around. What? A council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Oh my Miami gosh, he really is, dude. Just gold digging. 
that's really what this dude is, man. He be he, he watches all the po- he lo- watches all the podcasts, listens in all the they all the forums, exactly all the deserved. posts. I didn't do anything wrong at all. All this started because two women who barely knew you didn't want to fuck. Seriously? Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here. <sighs> So what if I knew? Mm. Right, he didn't even know about him though. That's what I think. Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. That's all he did know. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide. And it happened that I was the one who took the call. Mm. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Okay, so that's not even on the record. Oh, quite the contrary. Hmm? If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. Ah, uh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program, and you think she'll die too, is that right? Naratame san, do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But, but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. Oh. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. Hmm. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Ooh, okay. Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Wow. And the whole time he knew. He he pushed Namatame into doing it for him. Where no one could find her? Mm. Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. Damn. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Of all the people who could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push. Mm, 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 and he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. It's just fucking crazy, I could do dude. it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason. I do admit, though, I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki Senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. What? What do you mean? The real Adachi is somewhere else. Why can he do this? But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. <laughs> wow, you can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. Mm. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. Mm. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. End of the year. 31st. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Oh my gosh, bro. Keep your bullshit to yourself. 
It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now. It's it's okay, Kanji. You what a chump. Didn't I just tell you the real me is somewhere else? You weren't listening. Now you made us look stupid, bro. I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. Nah. Get he, back here, you! He's got you. powers, powers, bro. We can't do that. That stuff about the world's mind and... Bro got a shadow clone. It makes sense. Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? We die. <laughs> I think he means this world will engulf the human world. Let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. What the fuck? There's a path we can take now. I know he didn't make that. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. He made it. He made it himself. We can't do that. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Yeah, not right now. Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves right. first. Right. Prepare. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. Say less. Say less. Another freebie. Thank you. They say, hey, if 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 you don't know to make judgment personas by now, then you just don't know. 